Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Um, this is somewhat a continuation of the previous prophetic word that I just released. It's somewhat a continuation. When I was done with the video, I felt a strong impression to continue. I, 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 I just felt like God wanted me to say this and I omitted this in the previous video and it is very important because someone this is where you are right now or this is what is going to happen and you might want to act um contrary otherwise because you are hurt because you feel like you were not treated right and so god impressed in my spirit to do this as a continuation to the previous prophetic word Hallelujah. So now it was about the story of Jephthah, you know. I was talking about how Jephthah was sent away from his parent, from his father's house. He went and built a strong, um, he went and gathered vain men around him and built a strong and a mighty army. And he was their leader. He was their head. He was the commander in chief. Hallelujah. And so now the, 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 his people were under the attack of the Ammonites and so the elders went to to beckon on him to come and fight the Ammonites for them and the what the Lord wanted me to come back here to say is you know sometimes because we are hurt by these people when we get an opportunity to let them see our worth or to, to let them pay sometimes that humanity that human part of us would want to see them suffer and not help them because they didn't treat us right. And so the Lord said, go back and help. Because go back and help. Do not turn your eyes away from them or do not turn your back because they didn't treat you right. Two wrongs would never make a right. Whenever you have an opportunity to repay evil with good, do not miss out on it. Whenever you have an opportunity to repay evil with good, do not miss out on in the bible says it's going to be like you're heaping hot coals on their head do not be like them that is your opportunity to let them know that you are different from them you are a child of god your life is different the uh, you know you believe in god you are not bitter on the inside let them know that god is the one that raised you and put you in that place you might you might make a demand to make your intervention more credible, just like Jephthah did. He said, are you going to make me the head? If if eventually I do this, will you make me your head? If it, if it means you place in a demand, go ahead and place a demand, but do not stop yourself from being of, of, uh, from being of great help to them because they hurt you. Hallelujah. I pray that God is going to bring this word to your remembrance when it's time for you to use it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.